Hello guys and welcome back to Steel Division Normandy 44. This time I'm playing as the um, 15th Infantry, that is the Scottish Division. And my uh, teammate Hillbilly is playing as the 3rd Armoured. The uh, opponent on the Axis side is uh, Bip Bip Lequa playing as the 91 Luftlander. Uh, and uh, so is Legion 08. So yeah, we're just setting up here and uh, this is the uh, Point to the Hook map. Uh, I'll be playing on the uh, left flank here while my opponent takes the right side. Um, and as you can see, the uh, my opponent is setting up uh, as well. So uh, let's just speed up time here, switch to my point of view, and uh, let's get this party started. Taking some time there to uh, set up, and we're off. So, my plan here was to uh, just put a um, light uh, recon and some infantry on the uh, far left side. Usually they don't push that hard on the outer flanks for some reason. Uh, and uh, in the middle here I'm pushing my infantry hard into this uh, town just to hold these uh, houses here. And uh, as you can see my opponent uh, I dropped some uh, MGs and uh, some pack guns on the road to take out my uh, trucks moving up the road to the town. Fortunately, I managed to get uh, one infantry inside the house and I uh, unload all my infantry before they got uh, destroyed by the pack gun. He also has a uh, Panzer 39H uh, sitting in the back there, the lane dying suppressive fire. Uh, but I do also have one uh, honey steward pushing up. Oh, what happened there? I don't know what happened there, but I uh, got up to the castle. Sorry about that. And in the middle here, I have my AVRE pushing up to lay down support, uh, suppress the fire, and uh, take out whatever comes up the rope and uh, takes out the um, pack gun with ease and pins down the other pack gun. So yeah, I got a successful push into this uh, city. I have some Piet uh, units moving up to destroy any incoming armor. And uh, the command carriers and the other uh, ABR is uh, laying down some uh, very good suppression fire there. Taking some fire here on the left from uh, 20 mil uh, Fleck 38. I see that and I decide to bring up another uh, uh, Honey Stewart there. On the right side, my uh, teammate is uh, having some issues. His uh, M3 uh, half track gets uh, pinned down and destroyed by the back on uh, 37 mm uh, before us here. And his infantry is not doing as well uh, either, getting tons of suppression from the MG34 in the woodland here. Over on my side, I'm uh, pretty much holding this uh, very easily now uh, with the AVRE. Pushing up to uh, get a shot on the Panzer. And the uh, Fleck 20mm uh, getting a side shot on the AVR here. But uh, turns uh, my front towards it and takes a shot. Just aiming up. And boom! The uh, Fleck 20mm uh, pulls back. Some Kubelwag in uh, MG uh, laying down some pressure fire on the M3 half track here. And as you can see, my reconnaissance is um, pushing up here and uh, giving us a very nice uh, dip in the front lines here. Controlling that uh, only using uh, our recon. As you can see, you can see pretty much everything over here. Uh, so yeah, we uh, get a plus one lead early on, which is uh, gonna give us uh, the advantage. My teammate here is struggling to capture uh, and hold the uh, right side. In the middle he hasn't managed to push up and get us uh, a very big lead, but uh, he is holding for the moment, but uh, also struggling here. See he's bringing up a uh, Hunter Stewart there to uh, provide some suppressive fire, pins down the Falchion Eagers, and then takes out the uh, Panzer over here. But now he's gonna push right into the trap of this uh, pack gun. And uh, gonna take some uh, very accurate shots here. 
which is gonna allow the uh, pack on and the flak on to make the uh, M8 Scott here to pull back. In the middle here you can see all of my Honey Stewards, MGs and rifles are laying down some very hef uh, heavy suppression fire here on these uh, Flossing Jaegers, making it uh, almost impossible for them to push up. I do take some uh, mortar fire here uh, from the IG-18 in the force line. But uh, not enough to uh, do any substantial damage to my AVRE. Just uh, bounces off, taking no suppression at all. I'm moving up uh, slightly to lay down some suppression fire. You can see easily takes that out. Now it turns over to the pack on over here and uh, takes that out as well. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good here uh, holding this uh, town. Over on the right side again, my uh, teammate is uh, having very big uh, issues trying to take this uh, area here. Uh, it was about this point I started asking him if he needs support and uh, soon you will see me bringing up some uh, infantry on the far right side here, push, try to push on the right side uh, uh, behind this tree line here in cover so I can uh, try to take back this uh, ground we lost on this uh, right flank. Bringing in some uh, infantry and MG reinforcements on the far left side so I can push in eventually, push in this uh, uh, tree lines here to capture this area. My opponents bringing in uh, some more reinforcements here in the middle. My honey steward there gets an uh, unfortunate shot from the pack 37 mil. I see that with my other honey steward and uh, attack moves him on the left side. And he gets some very nice suppressing on the flank 20 mil here. And takes it out. So uh, yeah, this is um, costing my opponent on the left flank here uh, a lot of points and uh, he's really struggl struggling to make any kind of headway here. So currently this uh, is uh, still phase A, so I'm just setting up and uh, preparing for my push. I'm going to save up some money to have some Shermans and Challenger... Uh, is it Challenger? I'm, I'm not sure actually, we'll see. Uh, push up on this uh, left side here. Uh, as you can see this is far more open so you get uh, a lot more uh, visibility and long-range shots so I decided to push the tanks up on this side so they can shoot in on uh, the flanks of the enemy hiding in these bushes here. And uh, yeah, um, as you can see, this is why I don't push up with uh, Panzer too close to the forest line here. My uh, Panzer Freck gets a lucky shot on the side armor of the uh, Honey Stewart there, but uh, I have my rifles close by, intercepting and destroying the uh, Panzers, Panzer Freck, sorry. And also reconnaissance units and NMG carrier um, pushing up to get some more visibility in this uh, hedgerow here. In a small skirmish fight here between rifles, Bren Group and uh, another rifles. Pakan uh, engaging my MMG carrier here. Uh, I do realize this uh, eventually, I think, and um, pulls it out uh, behind the tree line here. Yeah, you can see now the uh, MMG carrier is moving behind the tree line. Also to take cover from the incoming Panzer. 39H uh, here. Fossum Jaegers taking some substantial losses from the uh, rifles and the Bren group. My uh, teammate is bringing on some uh, P38 uh, air support on the uh, mortars here. And as you can see, I'm uh, bringing up, uh, starting to bring up some uh, infantry here now to support my teammate on the uh, right side. So on my side, there's not really much happening at the time being. Uh, getting some skirmish fighting, uh, fighting here, uh, bringing up some uh, HMG uh, Vickers machine gun to lay down some support uh, between these uh, tree lines here. So yeah, just let's speed up time here. Doesn't happen really much on my side. And we just uh, hit 
phase B, as you can see. This allows me to bring up some more uh, medium tanks and uh, heavy tanks to support my infantry on the push here. The Panzer 39 doing a great job of taking some territory behind here, but as you can see, the uh, front line is going to be cut off. This is going to allow me to get some um, quick shots here on the with the six pounder and uh, immediately takes it out. That was a uh, Side armor hit, yeah, as you can see, it has a side, side armor um, pointed towards my six pounder, which allows it to easily take it out. Now, my opponents had to put a, a crap ton of infantry in this forest line here, but if I'm not mistaken, I have my mortar setting up just in the town here. I was eventually planning to bring it up on beyond this, uh, uh, behind this tree line here to get some. Cover, but uh, as uh, I am in this engagement now, when my brain group is starting to deplete this ammo, I s decided to just start laying down suppressive fire and uh, relying on the uh, defensive line here to hold off anything that tries to move up. Fuck a wolf 190 coming in here pins down all of my uh, infantry on the uh, left side of this uh, forest line here. Fortunately, the uh, mortar uh, is uh, laying down some very good suppressive fire on the Falsham Eagles here. Uh, so, uh, the infantry pin down here doesn't really take a lot of damage because of the um, mortar spinning down his units. And this allows me to regain and uh, start engaging again. And this Panzer Trex is gonna get uh, destroyed, I believe. On the right side here, you can see my infantry taking a lot of suppressive fire from the flat guns and uh, I believe he has some anti-tank guns here as well. But now pushing it out uh, in the uh, force line here and behind the force line. Making some uh, false Jaegers that were pinned out. Um, throw in the towel and surrender. My mortars still laying down some pressure fire and uh, in the back here I actually brought up a uh, 25 pounder as well which is uh, going to allow me to let down some very heavy suppressor fire here and I uh, actually managed to destroy a Kubelwagen here which is, oh it was over here actually you can see the mistake my teammate is doing here uh, and now it puts up a attack beacon for me to uh, respond to but he is pushing up his armed rifles too close to the tree line, which is uh, covered by this MG34, Falsham Eagers, pack guns, and uh, flat gun, and he is gonna get absolutely wrecked in this uh, forest line here. I see this, and I move my infantry out of the forest line, and uh, this allows me to push up unnoticed, because my opponents, I don't think he has any units actually in here. Also bring up a honey steward to uh, try to suppress the 75 mil, but uh, that was a bad move. I was going to uh, try to uh, suppress it or take it out with the uh, Spitfire, and I managed to do so, but just a little too late. So my honey steward gets uh, destroyed. Holding the line quite well here on the um, left side, but as you can see, my uh, all of my rifles and uh, MGs and um, Bren, uh, Bren guns here is uh, actually running out of ammo at this point. Takes a very heavy beating from the Fucker Wolf number 190 here, taking out uh, some of my rifles and uh, HMG crew, but uh, they're just pinned down still, so this is going to allow me to keep engaging here. I am going to bring up some um, Bedford uh, supply trucks here in a moment. As you can see, I'm uh, now starting to bring up my Churchill to support my infantry on the push here. We need ammo here. BF109 G6R6 uh, covering the area here and takes out uh, my teammate's uh, P38, which is an unfortunate. And there are my uh, HMG uh, Vickers machine gun is uh, destroyed. 
from this, uh, I believe it was the Falschermakers who managed to kill them before they got pinned down. But as you can see, all of my rifles now have stopped firing at these uh, Falschermakers because they are all out of ammo. So uh, I believe I am starting to move in some Bedfords uh, very soon here. My teammate doing some valiant support, pushing up his uh, armor on the uh, infantry in the forest line here. Unfortunately, it gets a little too close and uh, this is gonna allow the uh, pack guns and uh, whatnot to get some very good shots. The Falschermagers using their Panzerfaust, taking out his uh, Hunter Stewart here. Uh, there's a gap in the forest line here which allows the uh, flak 20 mil to uh, have a field day on my infantry here. Pinning them all down. I don't believe I actually realized this before it's too late. So I believe this uh, infantry group here is going to be pinned down and destroyed. Some heavy beating here, and now he's starting to bring up some uh, Panzer Force, uh, Panzer Three, sorry, which is laying down some uh, extra suppressor fire, and there goes all of my infantry on the right side. Bringing up a uh, command carrier with uh, infantry leader here to support my uh, rifles. Also bringing up. Uh, anti-aircraft gun now to take uh, care of the uh, continuing Focke-Wolf bombardment here. Not really much going on here, we're starting to approach phase C in uh, a couple of minutes, which is going to allow me to bring up the heavy tanks. I actually noticed now that uh, it took some time for me to realize that uh, all of my rifles have been uh, depleted. So, uh, but finally the uh, Bedford supply is moving up, which is going to uh, resupply my uh, infantry up here. So we can uh, push on and uh, continue the fight over here. My teammate having some uh, very big issues here, uh, bringing up a lot of 57mm um, uh, pack guns to try to deal with the armor here. The fortunate thing with the uh, 57 uh, is that I don't think they have HE capability, so it's only for uh, vehicles and armor. I decided to do a very strong push with my Typhoon and Spitfire here to get the uh, Panzer uh, Befall, Befall, I don't know. How do you pronounce that? The Fallen Panzer? The Panzer III tank, anyway. To fall back, to allow my uh, opponent to get a little uh, break from the constant uh, shelling from the uh, tank here. Uh, you can see he's bringing up some Grenadiers in the forest line here. And now I've brought up a second uh, 25 Panzer and uh, starting to uh, do some counter already here. I uh, have taken some uh, artillery fire from this area here. So now I'm just trying to lay down suppressor fire on uh, this area here. And I love that you can just zoom right in here and see all the action going on. Enemy nearby. Protect the gun. Moving my arty so uh, incoming counter arty won't hit or uh, airstrikes or whatever. My Churchill here getting engaged with uh, I believe this is a uh, Martyr 3, which is a tank destroyer. Very light armored, so one shot should take it out or at least provide excellent suppression. But the main gun of this is more than capable of taking out my Churchill, even from the front armor. Do manage to suppress it and make it fall back. Still having a 52% uh, plus one lead which is good. And now I've brought up a skirmish uh, team here uh, with 
Brand Group's rifles and the rifle leader. Uh, also the command carrier carrying the rifle leader uh, is uh, pushing up to close this pocket here. And as you can see the Martyr 3 gets a side shot from my Churchill trying to move her into position and gets taken out. The Bedford Supply has finally arrived on scene and is going to start uh, resupplying my units over here. So this is turning into a um, very defensive uh, fight on our side because uh, I'm just defending this crossroad over here in the town and uh, preparing to push up a little bit on the left side while my teammate is struggling to even uh, maintain his uh, front line here. Bringing in a lot of uh, pack guns with no actual uh, HE capability here, which is kind of strange, but uh, I will start uh, reinforcing him on this uh, right side again with uh, some infantry. Getting some incoming uh, artillery fire here. Uh, I do notice this uh, eventually and start uh, counter arting with the 25 pounder. And now my challenger tank, tank is uh, moving up, which is a very heavily armored uh, British tank with a very well, uh, very good main gun with uh, 17 AP power and 4 HP. And as you can see, it's a uh, pattern uh, moving up here, but it, as soon as this starts cresting the hill over here, it is start uh, going to start engaging the panzers pushing up on this uh, forest line here. Actually laying down some, pr some pressure fire on the grenadiers over here. My rifles taking a beating have lost some of its uh, crew here, and now my RD is uh, providing uh, counter arting here, and the mortars are laying down suppressive fire on the Fortunegers. Do manage to bring in my Spitfires just in just in time. I was actually bringing in the Spitfire Mark uh, Nine to bomb one of these tanks here, but. Uh, manages to pull it off and engage the uh, enemy air um, just in time before it uh, returns to base and now I'm gonna drop a bomb bomb run on this uh, pack 40 pin down this uh, 75 mil and the martyr tree has actually managed to uh, suppress my challenger enough to make it pull back And as you can see, the uh, infantry group that I brought up in the center to close this pocket has managed to do so. And I'm just starting to realize this um, this group is not in uh, any sort of combat. So I'm going to try to push up in the tree line here. And uh, get some infantry in those uh, buildings before they get pinned down. MMG carrier uh, and I uh, know that's the AVRE manages to put up the infantry in this force line here and as you can see the entire right flank is more or less uh, crumbled bringing in a typhoon here to uh, I believe take out the uh, pack on here let's just follow that and see what's going on taking some uh, flak 88 on the way in uh, make, making it uh, return to base before even uh, getting to its target. These uh, flak 88s are absolutely ridiculous in taking out uh, and suppressing uh, enemy aircraft. My challenger here having a hard time making some headway, but I do manage to bring up a 17 pounder and I also believe I'm bringing up uh, tons of uh, armored support here, Honey Stewart's Shermans and uh, another Challenger to support on the push. Calliope here, laying down suppressive uh, fire on this area here. 
preparing for the push. Still waiting for my uh, tanks to get up to this uh, front line here, so I can start uh, pushing. But as you can see, we are closing in on the total victory points uh, threshold. Uh, the aircraft, uh, anti-aircraft gun I brought in on the uh, flank here gets taken out. I'm not sure if that was an uh, airstrike or uh, one of the armors or the actual uh, RD taking it out. And also one of my 17 pounders gets... Uh, I believe that was a bomb run from one of the fuck wolves. And my challenger has actually used up all of his ammunition taking out the... Uh, engaging the armor on this side. So bring over the Bedford Supply to uh, resupply this. And my 17 pounder unfortunately gets destroyed there before it gets off a shot at the uh, pack gun in the forest here. Calliope actually pinning down its own uh, M5 gun for some reason. Now you can see I'm uh, pushing up my infantry here to engage the Grenadiers in this forest line. I also bring up my AVRE to support the infantry on this side, uh, trying to get a shot on this 75mm uh, pack gun, which is just out of range uh, and out of sight because of this uh, orchard here. But as you can see, a Marder 3 moving in on the uh, left flank of the AVRE and I believe this is going to get a shot off on the uh, side armor of the AVRE and uh, take it out. There we go, crew bail out and the uh, pack gun finishes off the job. Which is unfortunate, but uh, this flank is uh, still holding. I'm not too worried about them pushing into this town. I have a lot of uh, anti-tank units here, and also a crap ton of infantry making it very, very hard for anyone to push into this area with uh, infantry and uh, tanks. I see the pack gun, and uh, I finished off the Grenadier unit that was in this tree line. So now I'm uh, bringing up my infantry to uh, suppress and take out the uh, pack on here. On the left side, you can see my uh, panzers are getting into position just in time uh, when the round is over. So uh, that was the match on point to hook. Uh, it's a 30 minute fight. And uh, thank you to my teammate there, Hillbilly, for uh, sticking out the uh, horrible fight on the right flank. And uh, well played on uh, my opponent's side, Bipip Lekwa and Legion08. So thanks for the fight, guys. And uh, I hope to catch you in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more.